Hello and welcome to my review of the Harlequins Solitaire model from Games Workshop. Now this model will set you back £16, it comes in a clamshell pack. Its rules can be found in the 2018 Harlequins Codex. I do have a very small Harlequin army, it's probably the, the smallest army I have actually, um, only consisting of a few models from uh, one of the army box sets. What we'll do is uh, we'll have a closer look at the detail of the model, I'll show you some size comparisons because there aren't any spare parts, and then we'll go through all of the rules. So £16, not too bad. It's a bit cheaper than uh, your typical single miniatures that are £17.50 or even hitting £20. It is an old model though. It's been around f since the Harlequins were integrated officially into um, the 40k game. Uh, it's a really nice looking model though. Let's uh, have a look a bit closer. So he's got this uh, scenic base going on, a uh, bit of a Eldar or Eldari piece of scenery. Same on the back. I like the feel of the motion and the speed at which this solitaire is moving. He's got some of these like uh, diamonds or rhombuses, um, which the most recent uh, Kig Anil, we'll do a size comparison with him in a moment, ha also has, uh, trailing off of uh, his cloak. He's got the Harlequin's Kiss, about to stab that into someone and release all the molecular uh, needles and things for a very painful uh, death. It's got these uh, masks and these uh, horns that look very kind of Sons of the Harpy, Game of Thrones-esque, uh, I guess. Um, it's got this hand outstretched with some claws even. I like the attention to detail uh, there on the fingers. And um, yeah, it's got like this kind of gemstone in the middle and a few like little tabs and another uh, stone or something there. Uh, cool looking model, nice. Uh, action pose, leaping into uh, a squad or character or whatever. Really fantastic uh, energetic pose. Absolutely fine to put together. You won't have any issues at all. Okay, so let's have a look at some size comparisons with him. So that this is uh, Kiganel, which is one of the newest Harlequin models. Comes with the Frail Stern uh, box set for £30. Um, you can see that, uh, you know, you could put the Solitaire on the uh, 32 mil base. I wouldn't have any issues with that. Uh, it still kind of works on the 25 mil base though. Um, whereas you know, Kaganel has got a uh, you know bigger scenic base thing going on with all these uh, diamonds. But uh, that's how he stands up to Kaganel. Taller because of the action pose. Uh, ne near a Death Jester, which I've got right here. Death Jester is, there are similar height, uh, but the, the weapon there is just huge. And um, it's getting a bit crowded with the old scenic base for the Death Jester. I probably would prefer to put Death Jester on a, on a larger base uh, if I could uh, for that one. And then uh, compared to a normal Harlequin troop, yeah, um, actually a little bit smaller, but that's because the Harlequin troop has got this massive uh, power sword. Um, I love all the models and the capture of movement and speed that the Harlequin range has, um, except for Kaganel, who is just walking moodily. <laughs> anyway, that's a little size comparison there. Um, just with uh, another Eldar model or Eldari model, here's a, a Wraith Lord on a, a proper base. Um, and uh, as you can see, yeah, um, that's how he kind of stacks up to a, a Wraith Lord. I think a lot of people know the size of Wraith Lords anyway. And then next to some Imperial models, I always like to do this size comparison. So um, we've got a uh, Legacy Space Marine on the left, Sly Marbo, and um, a Primaris. He's actually taller than a Primaris with leaping off that piece of scenery. Um, you know, but compared to like a Space Marine, probably a little bit shorter than a Space Marine if he stood up. Um, but yeah, he's sort of like, <laughs> put that cigar out. <laughs> So that's where he stands uh, with the, the rest of the range. And this is my part of the review where I will go through all of his rules. So as I said before, you'll find him in the uh, 2018 Harlequin Codex that came out for eighth edition. He is an elite choice. He's a power points cost of a five and a points cost of 84. 
you are going to have to spend seven points on the Harlequin's Caress and also the Harlequin's Kiss. So that puts him at 98 points, which is almost that 100 point mark, which is quite expensive for a small single miniature. Let's go through the rest of his uh, rules then. So his movement speed is 12 inches. Oh my lord. That's as fast as a jump pack troop, I'm sure. That's crazy speed. That's, he's as fast as a, a hover tank and whatnot. His weapon skill is 2+, plus, ballistic skill 2+, plus, strength and toughness are both 3, he's got 5 wounds, attacks 8. Yes, you, you heard that correctly, he's got 8 attacks. Leadership 9 and a save of 6+. Plus. He's got an invulnerable save, but we'll talk about that in a moment. Solitaire is a single model armed with a Harlequin's Caress and Harlequin's Kiss. Only one of this model may be included in your army. Harlequin's Caress, it's a melee weapon, it's a strength of plus 2, AP minus two and a damage of one. So that means that uh, he's now hitting on a strength five. Harlequin's Kiss, again, is a melee weapon. It's a strength plus one, which is strength four, AP minus one and a damage of D3. So you can choose to either attack uh, with a weapon that has a higher strength, better AP, but less damage, or a weapon that potentially has uh, more damage. It's up to you. Abilities, the Path of Damnation. The Solitaire can never have a Warlord trait. Well, that makes sense. It's an elite choice. Blitz. Once per battle, instead of making a normal move with the Solitaire, you can make a Blitz move with it. If you do so, add 2d6 to its move characteristic until the end of this turn. It is increased to 10 until the end of this turn. This ability may not be used if the model has been selected as the target of the Twilight Pathways Psychic Power in your previous psychic phase. Now that's incredible. This is one of the main reasons why you're picking, is because instead of his movement of 12 inches, you can potentially get a movement of 24 inches. Then, instead of having eight attacks, you can have 10 attacks. Amazing. Rising Crescendo. The Solitaire can advance and charge in the same turn. Oh my Lord. So not only can you go 24 inches, you can then advance and charge. In addition, it can fall back and still shoot and or charge in the same turn. Well, obviously it hasn't got anything to shoot, but it can charge. Impossible form. The solitaire has a three plus invulnerable save. Amazing. This is why it doesn't matter that he's only got a six plus. Flip belt. The solitaire can move across models and terrain as if they were not there. Another decent thing. Keywords, Eldari, Harlequins, Mask, Character, Infantry, Solitaire. So there you go. Absolutely amazing named character. The Solitaire, a worthy addition. The only thing he's lacking in is he's only got the five wounds and, it's, and he is squishy at toughness three and he doesn't have any ranged weaponry at all. So he's a pure close combat melee uh, unit he could do well against uh, a unit of 10 or a unit of 5, but not heavily armoured uh, units like a Terminator squad or something. He'd also do pretty well against characters, pumping out those 10 attacks. He's very survivable with that 3 plus invulnerable save, and he can really close the gap uh, to any enemy target he wishes. Very much glass sword if ever you've seen one. And that's the end of my review. What do you guys think of the Solitaire? I think it's a fantastic looking little model. His rules are quite decent as well. It reminds me of a, an Eldar assassin in a way. Please do put your thoughts and opinions down below as always. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. The Avatar of Kane Protects.